Hello you lovely lot, Mark here, going over some of the new old world um, information that has been brought out. Sorry, this is my first time actually reading this. This has been recorded on Boxing Day morning, Christmas Day, kind of, saw some of the Dark Angel stuff, but I didn't actually see any of the old world stuff. So let's see what's actually been shown off, and it looks like, yes, the Tomb Kings is being revealed. So, ooh, the Tomb Kings and the Bretonian core sets have been shown off. Now, I did do that uh, video not that long ago showing the leaked image of the Tomb Kings. Um, so, there's no single launch box for our old world, instead, two separate and massive core sets containing a full uh, 1250 point with dozens of plastic miniatures you get a 352 page hardback rule book a four page reference sheet 20 d6 one scatter dice three weapon templates two plastic whippy sticks and transfer sheets so it looks like you get enough in there to actually start playing Ooh, the plutonium one looks interesting so we already know about the the Tomb King one. I've said in the previous video, the only thing that's concerning me with Old World is you're getting nice, shiny, new sculpted models. Very pretty, nice new models. But then you're getting the old models come back. Some of the old models hold up to the new ones really quite well. However, some of the old models and in my personal opinion, the Tomb Kings ones don't quite hold up. Which is a shame. I know logistically why they've done it. It's easier for them to reproduce the old models out of the old uh, masters and molds and stuff like that. It's fine. And the nostalgia is amazing. I'm not disputing that at all. It's just when you put old skelly bones <laughs> versus new skelly bones it doesn't always match up but it's your choice after all now the batonium one Ooh, so looks like you got uh men at arms men at arms peasant archers uh you got the uh pegasus knights or oh, pegasus knights not pegasus do apologize you then have two lots of knights, and then you have a lord, uh, Lord and Royal Pegasus, 12 knights, 36 men at arms, 24 pe uh, peasant bow archers, two defensive stakes, three Pegasus knights, and a Bretonian transfer sheet. That's tasty. That is very, very tasty that yes it's i like the old school um style that they're doing for the actual mats as well there, there's you're not with the new aos and 40k one sometimes it feels like they try to hide the bases a little bit behind rubble and stuff this is your old school aesthetic this is an army on parade which i do like this a lot then you got the Fantasy Battles rule book. That's going to be a chongus. 352 pages of chongus. Then you got Forces of Fantasy and Ravening Hordes. So the Fantasy is going to be of good and the Ravening Hordes are of evil. Oh, okay. So. Uh, these are going to be available hardback and from uh, digital, covering five factions, uh, the Dwarves, the, the Empire, the Bretonians, the Wood Elves and the High Elves are going to be in the Forces of Fantasy. And they're going to be composed of, oh, you're going to have your different army lists in there that you can build, complete profiles, magical rule, the full works, your spells, your items, your rules, all of it. And then... The Ravenin Hordes is going to be the same, but for the evil side, which is going to be your Orcs, Goblins, your Warriors of Chaos, your Beastmen, and your Tomb Kings. Very, very nice. 
Oh, then they're bringing out even more. So yeah, so the yeah, so the arcane journals and stuff. I don't see those being in the rule books uh, in the in the box sets. That's probably where the reference sheet comes from. The reference sheet will probably allow you. Yeah, the full page reference sheet may allow you to just play with the army. Maybe a quick reference to how to start a new game or start playing the game. Uh, the Arcane Journal, uh, soft back for each faction, span the history, heraldry maps, special character, magical rules, thematic armies of... Oh, so this is where you get the extra level on top of it. That is very, very nice. So if you start out, you start up with, say, the main rule book. Pardon me, block nose. Then you get your forces. Then when you've got to... Uh, to a better understanding, you can then get the journals and go from there. Not waiting to be outdone by the self-important short-lived mortals of Petonians. Emissary of Cetra. Ooh, that's pretty. I want to say that is going to be... Uh, that'll be the Forge World, I would say. Uh, I don't really see it in there, but that is a very, very, very pretty model. See all the scarabs climbing up there. That's going to be impressive. And this is what I mean potentially by the brand new Forge World models. They don't... The old plastics don't quite match up. But it's your choice after all. There are some lovely third party um, options out there. If you were that way inclined. Then we've got the Battle Standard. That's going to be... <laughs> that's a mighty standard to have up there and you've got a very very imposing weapon there uh some form of flail with a lot of blades on the end of it Ooh, tomb swarms so the scarabs are really um not liking it on not liking enemies around that's very pretty so it's a mixture of your scarabs your skeleton warriors. I know there's a lot of rich lore over these, which I am brushing over, to put it politely. That's very, very nice. On top of all this, a full range of classic Tomb King miniatures will be returning. Nice, 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 nice. The Petonians and Tomb Kings are the first two of the nine factions returning. Very nice. Ah, uh, don't worry, the more to follow of Hashut. Oh, or interlopers of the great plan. Oh, so there may be more shown off over the next couple uh, couple days. But yes, I do like the fact that they've actually shown off and they've cemented the idea because they did say on stream when this first all got announced fairly early, they said they weren't doing two player starter sets. They weren't doing that. And they've stayed to what they've said. There was people bringing up rumours going, oh yeah, there's blatantly going to be a Petonian tomb versus Tomb Kings. No, they've just stated that each army will have its own box set. But this is highly likely you're probably going to get a Dwarven one, you've got a High Elf one, a Wood Elf one, a Beastman one, a Warrior's Chaos. It'd be very likely of that. Which is very, very nice. But we shall see. But thank you very, very much for watching through. If you've enjoyed this, you know, return to the old world, they are very pretty forces. And I like the fact that they have shown how they're going to flesh out the rules. You've got your main rule book. You then got your army rules. you got your arcane journals and some really nice new models for your Tomb Kings. But anyway, comment down below what you think of all this. And... I will leave you there. Thank you again. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fantastic one. I hope to catch some of you, if not all of you in the next one. Ta-ra for now.